NC TV 45 Newcastle, The Train. Today's program was provided through funding from Coney Island, Coney Island downtown in downtown Newcastle, a Newcastle tradition. Newswatch rolls on. The Wolf Administration outlines efforts to combat human trafficking and encourages the public to learn and watch for signs. Executives from Pennsylvania Department of Transportation and Human Services, the Pennsylvania State Police, and the Governor's Commission on Asian Pacific American Affairs was joined by advocates of human trafficking survival survivors today to discuss the efforts to combat trafficking and educate the public okay on the issue human trafficking is one of exploiting exp, exploiting people using force fraud or uh coercion, okay, um, got to fix the glasses, for the purpose of commercial sex, forced labor, or domestic servitude. According to uh, the International Labor Organization, there are 21 million victims of human traffic globally, generating $150 billion annually for traffickers. January is recognized as Human Trafficking Month, with January 11th wear Blue Day to make people aware of human trafficking. Now, we're going to take this break, and we'll be right back after these messages. NC TV 45 Newcastle. The train. Today's program was provided through funding from Coney Island, Coney Island downtown in downtown Newcastle, a Newcastle tradition. And welcome back to Newswatch. Uh, here's something wild it's a new wild plant regulation now in place in pennsylvania yeah we have regulations on wild plants the department of conservation and natural resources cindy adams dunn today announced the new regulations that apply to conservation of native wild plants in pennsylvania are now final after a public comment and approval process taking place over more than a year, final regulations were published in the Pennsylvania Bulletin December 22, 2018. There are many species of plants in the world than there are animals, and uh, the mission of DCNR's Bureau of Forestry includes conserving native wild plants. Dunn said, Pennsylvania is home to about 3,000 plant species. About two-thirds of those are considered native to the Commonwealth, and 347 are currently considered rare and threatened or endangered. So uh, we're going to protect those wild plants. <laughs> so uh, we're going to be right back on Newswatch after we hear from these great sponsors. program was provided through funding from Cedars Restaurant 
in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. A special thanks to Cedars, featuring Middle Eastern, Italian, and American cuisine. Hello and welcome once again to the Cedar Sports Corner. Well, your Sunday, if you're in the mood for a little football, it's the Chargers at the Patriots and the Eagles taking on the Saints. Now, over in the NHL, a uh, lot of uh, action this weekend and Sunday. Lightens up a little bit. Predators at the Hurricanes. Rangers at the Blue Jackets. Canucks at the Jets. Lightning will be at the Islanders. Panthers will be at the Canucks. And the Coyotes, they're at the Flames. Now, over in the NBA. And uh, a lot of great action your Philadelphia 76ers, they're on the road to take on the Knicks. While the Raptors take on the Wizards. Bucks are at the Hawks. Magic, they're at home hosting the Rockets. And the Warriors take on the Ma The Magic's at home hosting the Rockets. The Warriors take on the Mavericks. Trailblazers visit the Nuggets and the Cavaliers. They're going to see their old buddy LeBron out on the West Coast to take on the Lakers. Now that was the Cedar Sports Corner, and we'll take this time out. We'll be right back. Tuscany Square Restaurant, 3470 Wilmington Road, where old world charm meets the modern conveniences of today. Spacious seating and amenities await. Fresh ingredients that make that just right pizza or entree. It's Tuscany Square for your next event. Stop and see us or give us a call at 724-654-0365. County 45 weather. Well, after last night's snowy low of 24 and quite frankly cold, how is your Sunday looking? Well, as you take a look at radar, ground clutter still around and off to the west, the clouds exist. So
So your Sunday looks like a mostly cloudy 34, and Sunday night partly cloudy with a low of 18. Now, once that all clears through, things don't get too bad. Monday, mostly sunny and 34. Monday night, partly cloudy, a low of 18. Tuesday, mostly sunny and 36. Tuesday night, partly cloudy, a low of 27. Wednesday, mostly cloudy, high of 36. Wednesday night, mostly cloudy, a low of 21. Thursday, partly sunny and 32. And things look to be stabilizing and uh, won't have too much. It'll be seasonable, but um, we'll be looking at next weekend to see uh, if the snow returns. Now, we're going to take this break. That was Lawrence County 45 weather, and uh, we'll be right back. Standing by my window. Today's programming is brought to you by NC TV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. Special thanks going out to Town Mall Pizza for sponsorship of this program, located in the Cascade Galleria, Newcastle. There's more than me. NC TV 45, the train, anytime on your time. Well, that's going to do it here for. Remember, tell a friend about NC TV 45. They'll be glad you did. And. Make sure you get that second cup of coffee and have a super day in what I call the greatest castle in the world in the County of Lawrence. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you on down the road.